everybody. How's it going? I'm going to make a card today, and I thought I'd share it with you as I go along. We all get these great big paper pads. This one here is from um, Michael's, down in their value package there for $12 Canadian. And sometimes we have pieces in there, we're not quite sure what to do with it. I'm going to show you a simple way if you have to make a spur of the moment card or a long term card, it doesn't matter because they're so fun to make. All, I, all you do is you go through your package. This one here is Love Letters, Let Them Walk. And I picked up this piece here. I thought it would make a beautiful card because it is cardstock and it's only one side. And I'm going to take this and cut this out to be. What I wanted to do is I'm going to want to cut this. Not to become a six by six. To let me see here what I can do. I've never done this, so you'll have to bear with me. I like the butterfly on the other side. So I'm going to make this a six by six curve. Six by six, just like that. Because I don't want to use lose the image that's in the front. I think it's a beautiful image. And with the butterfly in the back going. It's, it just makes a perfect, perfect card. So, I mean, you could also use the other side, too, because it has really nice, nice sayings also. But I'll keep that for another day. Now, I'm going to take my bone folder and make a really nice crease with that. Now, I'm going to put that aside. That's going to be basically my base of my card. Now, you also have all kinds of cutaways, usually, in these cards. But you never know what to use it for. I just pulled out one of these. Um, there were different ones. But um, I, I'm going to take, I believe, Dreams Grow here. Like so. And I'm going to take this cutaway. And like this. And it takes away from the traditional card, well, I guess if you want to call it that, the traditional card, <gasps> pardon me, but here I've taken the dream card. Now, it needs to have, obviously, a, a background. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud, because I see it and I, and I think it's beautiful, just the way it is. This would make a really nice background. So, all I'm going to do is, this is how quick these are, if you really wanted to kind of make your way through. I'm just going to take this with my ATG gun. I normally use it just because it's more economical long term. And then instead of starting measuring and whatever, if you want to keep things simple, just put it approximately where you want it on your card cardstock, you know, making sure that it's straight, like this. You can always trim it if it's not, but, and then all I'm going to do is put it through my cutting board here, and I'm going to measure approximately the same here. I'm going to see as it is here, and I'm going to cut it through. That's how easy it is. And then you don't have to worry about uh, gluing it right in the center and whatever or cutting it the right size. I like that. That's a nice size and it'll dress up this part here. Now, this card has a lot of gold. So, since I have gold here, I am going to, and I have a really nice shiny mirror, I'm going to do the same with this, is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this and, um, and, um, glue it on here as such. Now you could emboss this if you like, but I'm going to keep things simple in order for you to be able to see how you don't need a whole lot of tools to do this because this is how simple this is. Now I'm using this, but you could um, you could use just about anything you wanted. Um, here 
at the dollar store, they also have a whole bunch of different colored um, metallic papers. And that's only at the dollar store, but it's not cardstock. It's just a little bit of, of uh, a little bit, sorry guys, <laughs> a little bit. It's paper. There, cut it out, spit it out. Now you could round the corners for this if you wished. You could, um, I'm going to leave it flat, but you could if you wanted to. And with this rose here, I can... Now if I wanted to be creative, I'll show you another little thing from here. Now again, that would be totally up to you, but I'm going to show you a little trick that uh, you could do to enhance this to make it just one cap a little better, not better, different. Grab yourself your tool, which is this here. I have an exacto knife. And what I'm going to do, now you could probably, if you have a cutter, probably manage to uh, take this and scan and maybe cut part of it. I'm not sure. I've never looked into it, to be truthful, because to me this goes as quick. It's so easy, but your best friend is a sharp blade. If you don't have that, you're going to have ragged edges. You're not going to be happy with the results. So all you do, and normally, you would just cut along the line. Now, I am going to cut away... And it's good if you can continue the cut. I stopped. But if you can continue the cut without stopping, you don't break the fibers. It just keeps cutting right through the fibers. Like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the wings over here. It just take, You do not have to do this. But because I have this gold butterfly, I really don't want to cover it and then you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to just take my X-Acto knife and follow like this. And I'm not going to cut off the, the ears. Though. I'm just going to let the ears be what they are. And then I end up having... how easy that is you end up having your butterfly and she's cut out like this now the reason I want this is because I want to add my sentiment now I realize that I'm gonna to have to cut some more out which is fine I'm just going to cut it up to about the bottom here and I'm going to do the same thing over here just going to continue cutting, cutting, cutting just around so I can slide that saying beneath the, the butterfly. Now, will that work? That'll work perfectly. See how pretty that is? So now all I need to do is take my good old glue gun. Advanced glider. This is from Scotch. I like it. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I find adhesive is getting more and more expensive as the years are going by. More so than the paper crafting. But um, I still like it. I still find it's economical compared to using the little Tombow. Because I do a fair amount of a fair amount of, uh, of crafting. Because I have a passion for it. And I'm fortunate enough to be retired, so why not? Okay. See how pretty that is? And see how that sticks out there? It makes it to be a really different looking nice little card. Now you're going to say, well, what about the, the front here? What's this? Well, listen, guys. I just got an idea. I'm going to cut this piece. Just to show that, you know, if you can use a little bit of your magic, I'm, I'm doing this on a whim, like I, nothing is planned here. I have a vision, and I'm going to see to pull it out. But, 
it goes to show that nothing has to go for weight to waste because all I'm going to do and to make it really I'm just going to cut out just about a quarter of an inch on each side like this just because I'd like to have it uh, not cover everything but cover a bit of it and that works for me and then I'm just going to glue it down and what that'll do it'll cover It'll cover where I cut out the um, spikes. And this is only one page of that part. That, pa that uh, one page of, of that whole paper pad. So this is cute. This will be sweet that I do it on the right side. I'm just thinking, no. Well. You pay attention. I'm just gonna pull it out like so. If I don't rip it, ah, thank you. There you go. And I'm going to put it on the right side, so <laughs> so it'll balance here. There, that's much better, much much better, like so. So when you open it, you have a beautiful butter. It all works together. And then on the inside here, all I need to do is add a sentiment of my choice. Or I could use another one and add inside. But this is quick. And on this, I could add a ribbon on the bottom. If I had a nice little gold ribbon, I could actually cut out another little piece and add it to the bottom. The sky's the limit. But the main idea is how pretty that is. So don't be afraid to check out your pads, your paper pads that you purchase, because there's always cutaways, and you wonder, what am I going to do with that? Like, I'm not going to use that, but I do love this paper, but I don't, you know, and um, for an example, I'm looking at this right here, and it's uh, dream, make it happen, grow through what you you go through, live in this moment, dream it, make it happen, and uh, this is your moment, do what makes you happy, and then there's a whole bunch of butterflies right there. You know, if I wanted to, I could cut that out and add that as a strip on the bottom. There's so many, so many, so many different things that you can do with a paper pad. Don't limit yourself to just one page, two page, and then you leave it hanging in your paper stash. Now, even this, put this in a frame. That makes a beautiful piece for your wall, art piece. So you get what I'm saying, guys. Don't stop add just one or two pieces in your package, use what you have, ex extend your imagination, and make yourself a beautiful card. This is Yvonne, and I'm signing off for now, but I'll be back with more to come. Bye-bye.